What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with not another episode of Versus Explained, but something a little bit different. A lot of you guys have been reaching out to me on here and on Instagram asking me about how to become an orthodontist. So I figured I'll take a little bit of time today and just kind of explain the path to becoming an orthodontist, which I'm almost there. I have about five more months. Um, and you know, the steps along the process. Now, if this is a video that's interesting to you guys, I'm more than happy to do individual steps about you know how to get into dental school, how to get into residency, and all about that. But I figured today we take a little bit of time and just take a step back and talk about how to become an orthodontist. First, what is an orthodontist? So an orthodontist is a specialty of dentistry which is termed orthodontics and dental facial orthopedics. So we're responsible for making sure not only that you have a nice smile, but you have a functional bite, you can chew well, and your jaws are positioned in a healthy and stable position. To become an orthodontist, you have to first become a dentist. So let's rewind a little bit here. After high school, the route to being a orthodontist is, is quite long, but it's definitely worth it. After you complete your high school training, you then go on for your undergraduate career and you get a bachelor's of science or art or what have you. Now, common misconception. A lot of people think that, oh, I have to be a science major to go into dental school, and it's not the case. You do have to have certain classes that are required for dental school, but that doesn't mean that you have to be a science major. I had people in my class that were art major, history major, a bunch of different things. I luckily liked science, so I was a science major, but that doesn't mean that that's the route. For those of you that are curious, I got my undergraduate degree in molecular cell and developmental bio, which is a mouthful. Um, of a major, but it's basically one of UCLA's biology majors. Your college education usually ranges between, I've heard some people finish in three years, some people take five, six, even more, but the average is usually four. When you finish your undergraduate degree, then you have your bachelor's and you can apply to dental school. And you can apply to dental school as early as one year before you finish your bachelor's, which is what I did. That way when you complete your training in, let's say, June, you can start that fall into a dental school. I can go into more detail about applying to dental school in a future video, but it was something that I was actually super passionate about when I was in dental school. I liked helping undergrads get into dental school, so I have a lot of information there that I'm more than happy to make videos about to help you guys out. Now, once you go to dental school, that's a four-year program in most places in the States. There's one school in the United States, uh, University of the Pacific, that's up in San Francisco, and that's a three-year program, but that, everywhere else, it's generally a four-year program. And during those four years, you learn a lot about basic science, medicine, and dentistry, obviously. And you start doing uh, classes that build your hand skills as early as, I think, ours was day three. And you work on developing your hand skills, and you start seeing patients um, as early as fall of your second year. So it's really great. Um, it's really tough, but it's definitely rewarding. And after you complete your dental school training, then you're officially a dentist. Now, a dentist can practice all different types of dentistry and orthodontics, but you are held liable to the same standard of care as a specialist. Um, I personally really enjoyed orthodontics, so that's why I pursued and applied to a residency for that. But as a general dentist, you are licensed to do all types of dentistry. There's like almost 10 different types of specialties for dentistry. There's like orthodontics, which are the braces and Invisalign, all the things that I talk about. Um, there's periodontics, which is involves the gums, oral surgery, and I could talk about all these different specialties, but they range from one year being the shortest, which is basically an advanced training in general dentistry. And some of them are as long as six years, which is oral surgery, where you actually go to medical school as well. So that's a really long route. But for orthodontics, it's between two and three years. Um, some programs are fast and they finish in two years. Uh, mine is three years long, but I also get a master's of science degree. I personally wanted to go to a three-year residency program because I wanted to see my patients that I started uh, be completed with treatment. A lot of people know that orthodontics takes around two years most of the time. So I figured if I want to see my cases completed, I'd have to be there for a little bit more than two years because you don't start everybody on the same day. So it really ranges there, but generally speaking, two to three years to be an orthodontist after dental school. So that's pretty much the route. You go to undergrad, which is on average four years, dental school, which is generally four years, and a residency in orthodontics, which is between two to three years, um, somewhere in there. My route, I went to UCLA for undergraduate, um, I went to UCLA for dental school, and I'm in my last year, I'm gonna be graduating here in about five months in orthodontics at UCLA, and I got my master's this last spring, I finished that up. So, almost done, it's been a really long journey, but it's super rewarding. If you guys are interested in this route, I highly, highly recommend it. If you guys have any questions about the path to becoming an orthodontist or any type of dentist, please leave them below. 
I probably will do more videos on the route. So maybe, you know, applying to dental school, how to make yourself a good candidate, applying to residency, how to make yourself a good candidate, how to be successful in, you know, in dental school, in residency, stuff like that. I think it's a lot of fun. If you guys find this interesting, let me know. But I just want to give this quick little video in there to answer a lot of you guys' questions in some relative detail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And remember to check me out on Instagram at Dr. Greg Ortho. I will be back soon with another video on orthodontics and braces explained. I have some really cool stuff coming your way. I have some specialists that have agreed to join in and answer some questions in their respective fields. A lot of people are talking about extractions, whitening, phrenectomies, all of those are coming soon and it's going to be awesome. But for now, I would like to wish you guys a happy new year and I will see you guys soon. For now, Dr. Greg, out.